Now move on to the nation, but before we move on to the nation, please do get yourself a copy of the standard. Remember, you have the pulse uh, there as well, but we're going to be going through the pulse later on with the Hot Topics crew as we continue. For the Daily Nation, the headline is what polls predict on fate of governors. So, of course, we have a number of governors who are trying for a second term. And uh, according to pollsters, there are those who are almost guaranteed that uh, they, it's, it's as good as done. Uh, but there are those as well who possibly may not know what their fate is. And the nation mm -hmm. is basically uh, drawing that distinction. Uh, it's, it's really interesting uh, to see the polls. I mean, there's been a lot of question about these polls. But having said that, I think um, this election is a real battle. I mean, uh, you know, the, the most of these governors are beneficiaries of the new constitutional constitution. So I think this next time, I think this next this election that is coming is really big, a big challenge, a big test to most of them. Mm -hmm. And you can see that um, uh, interesting is that uh, the governors of uh, Mombasa and and uh, and, and Turkana, mm -hmm. 77, especially 77 percent, is really a big plus for it's quite Nanook, high, quite uh, high for Nanook. Yeah, and, and just to mention, in case we are, yeah, you can see it on the screen there, but uh, you have the likes of Okotho Bado, mm -hmm. uh, Oparanya, Hassan Joho, and uh, Nanok, basically as good as home. But you have those who are fighting. You've got the likes of even Skidero, Peter Munya. Ken Lusaka. Then there are those who apparently are on their way out as a guarantee. And you have the likes of Daniel Waidaka uh, with a dismal 9.3% and Joseph Ndadi with a dismal 3%. So we'll wait for the 8th. We've only got 10 days to go before the die is casted. We find out what happens. But also on the front page of the Daily Nation, there was a story.